gently, gently. Not quite so hard, Simon, please. Yeah, not so hard! Ow! And the same goes for you, Bill. <laughs> Boys, come out. Now, quick! Come on, everyone! Stop them! Stop them! Come on, everyone! Stop them! Twilight Return to Home. Miss Palmer here. Thelfont Heights. Just checking you're all still coming to our little entertainment tonight. You are? Oh, good. I want this to be a happy show. Eyes and teeth. Eyes and teeth. So let's shake hands. <sighs> Don't know why we're doing this show anyway. Yeah, this is meant to be an outdoor centre. We came here to get big and strong. And so we did, Ruby. But we must exercise our artistic muscles as well, mustn't we? Well, where are they? Besides, think of all the pleasure you'll be giving the senior citizens who are coming to see you. Oh, yes, this is a noble venture. Vigorous young people, freely giving up their spare time, spreading joy, and asking no reward. Four pounds a ticket, that's right, Mitch. Yes, I know it's more than last time, but... Enter! All right, three pounds seventy-five. But don't be late. Come about our wages. Oh, yes. Where are they? Today's our payday. I know, I know. You'll be paid tonight after the show. You mean our wages come out of the ticket sales? That's right. I don't know if I like the idea of taking money from old age pensioners. No, me neither. What admirable sentiments. So, you'll do the work for nothing then? No you way! Must be joking. Don't you see sense? Uh, Romeo and Juliet, please. Yeah. <laughs> It's Mr. Charisma. <laughs> Take no notice, James. But soft, what light through yonder window breaks. Wake me up when he's finished, will you? <laughs> Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? She speaks. Oh, speak again, bright angel. For thou art as glorious to this night, being o'er oh, my head as is a winged messenger of heaven. And cue minstrels. Yeah! Yeah, leave her alone! Don't you hit Harriet. Why not? I'll give you why not. Yeah, Simon, stop it. What? Yeah, stop it, Simon. You too, Bill. What's the matter with you? He's tired of all this fighting going on between us. That's right. I'm sick of all the insults and abuse. There is one way you can stop it, you know. How? By being less boring. I am not boring. Nah, of course you're not. <laughs> no, James. You're right. Come on, Alice. Let's leave them to their petty little war. Splendid! Bravo! Right, everyone, remember those positions for tonight. Let's have some lunch. Tremendous, don't you think? Well, none of it was in the script. Thanks. So do you live in a mansion, then? No, just a house. Oh. Sorry if you find that boring. Don't be daft. I don't know, I just assume your mum and your dad was kind of rich. Actually... Both my parents are dead. Oh, I'm so sorry. Doesn't matter. My dad's no longer with us either. Oh, yeah? He's in prison. Not as good as being dead, is it? Oh, what a daft thing to say. I'm sorry. Henry, were you a spy? 
lying on us? Yes. No. I mean... Do you two have any idea of what you're doing? Standing here watching you. You were kissing. And not fighting. So? We're in love. Are we? Ah. Now, now kissing can lead to things happening. Things? What kind of things, Henry? Do you know about the <laughs> facts of la, la, how we all got here? By a minibus. No, I, I'm talking about the those things. Birds. That's right. And the, uh, you know that buzzes. Well, they gather round flowers. Florists. Oh. Listen, Henry. Tell us after lunch, okay? Brilliant, Vicar. Your flock still coming tonight? Good, good. Thank you. And God bless you, too. Oh, thank you. Uh, two fish fingers is the maximum. That's far too many sausages there, I'm afraid. Oh, any chips left? <laughs> Lucky me, looks like I got the last ones. Come on, Deborah, do you want to hear how the show's progressing? Oh, well. Hello, Simon. Can I send you some salad? Yeah, why not? Hi, Henry. Hi. Shaking then. They're not. They are. Come on the table. Why should I? It's the water test. Scared to take it, aren't you? No. Take a glass of water, put it on each hand, and if you're scared of us, there'll be ripples of fear across the surface. Grrr. See? Nothing. Oh, must have been wrong. Bye. <laughs> big team, big team, big team. Oh, uh, come back. Oh. Watch Simon. <laughs> victims, 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 victims. What are you doing? Hello. Go away. You should be over there. Can you pass me the salt and pepper, please? Spoiling it for everyone! Spoiling it? You mean you really want them and us to keep fighting? Yes. Yeah. Stop this thing with what's her name right now. She's called Alice. And why should I? Because I'm telling you to, and I'm the leader of this group. Says who? Says me. Oh, yeah. Perhaps the girls have got something to say about that. I've got nothing to say to you. Nor me, traitor. Right. Seeing as I'm not wanted, I'll push off. Bye. James! The time has come for drastic action. Gotta do something, Ruby. So long as you realise this is purely temporary. So long as you realise you're still slime. Right then. Now, it's essential that we all know what to do should a member of the audience collapse tonight. <sighs> Thank you, Harriet. No problem. I have seen James. Who, Alice? James. Tell me, is it L-O-V-E? 
This is a turn round, isn't it? I was only pretending Bill made me. Oh, did he now? Go on, tell me about him. Well, he's kind, quiet, got lovely eyes. I feel like I can really trust him. Oh, no. What is it? Look. After all those things you were saying. Nice try, everyone. Was that Alice? Um, very, very good, James, but remember, it is dangerous to practice on people while they're still breathing. Time for plan B. She dropped this. Yeah, that's private. What's the date today? Uh, the 12th. This says the 11th. Must have been written yesterday. Dear Alice, I was so happy last night when you said you were mine forever. Oh, dear. Looks like she's already got a boyfriend. <gasps> yes. Shame the ink's still wet, though. You only had me fooled there. Oh, I don't believe this. There'll always be an England. Yes! I just want to know at what point in the show you want to do your song. Where do you normally put the best things in the show? At the end. Correct. So you'll go on at the start. The end! I'm sorry to interrupt, but it looks like we've lost our Romeo and Juliet. What? This was pushed through my door. <sighs> Dear Philippa, we are writing to you because we know you will understand. James and I want to be together, but no one else wants us to be, so we are running away. Love, Alice. How romantic. How awful! We must send out search parties. Raise the alarm. Leave no stone unturned. We'll call the police. Call the police? Are you mad? You've got a show on tonight. What would people think if the place is full of panda cars? Just recast the parts, Miss Dodderidge. Don't you think the safety of two children is more important than the impression you make on your guests? No, not when they're paying. I, I can't believe it. You risk two young lives for the sake of money? Don't knock money. It has its uses. Shane, Philippa, aren't you shocked, appalled, horrified, scandalised? No. What? Often in these cases, the kids return of their own accord. Yeah, yeah, if you set the police on them, it just makes things worse, you know, it makes them think they're doing something glamorous and risky. Risky. Consequences can be fatal. Roadblocks, helicopters, flashing lights, police marksmen, big shootouts, and it's... Sorry, miss, but can you identify these two bodies for us? Oh, dear. So, you see, best thing you can do is to carry on with the show as if nothing had happened. Oh, yes, you're right. We mustn't alarm them, and they'll come back on their own. Oh, and another thing, Miss Dudridge. Yes. I wouldn't alarm the other children by telling them about this. Good thinking. But if they're not back by tea time, you will call the police, won't you? I swear. Now, off you go. It's showtime! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Dry your eyes! Dim the lights! We're going to have a show in this town tonight! Oh! <laughs> Yes, Miss Palmer? I might have a job for you, Auntie. Right you are. Don't see why we should be looking for them, do you? Look, if the police get called in, the show gets cancelled and we don't get paid. But what if something awful happens to Alice and Jane? It won't. Besides, we'll have found them long before it gets dark. Do you think so? Phil, I'm an experienced woodsman. I can read this for us like a book. See? Freshly snapped. They must have gone in this direction. <laughs> He'll never find us here. Never. We could stay here forever. Like a will? Thanks. I'll catch us a rabbit for dinner. Do you know how? Oh, yes. My father showed me before he died. I spent a lot of time alone in the woods. How romantic.
Hello, hello, hello. Is this done, Rich? Any news yet? You'll be pleased to hear the police have been called in and they're scouring the woods as we speak. Oh, good. In their hundreds. So, you can get on with the show, can't you? Oh, yes, of course. It's funny, he seemed familiar, that policeman. Really? Hadn't you better be getting back to the show? Yes. You'll let me know if there's any news. I will. Yes? How much longer do you want me to stay out there, Miss Palmer? I don't. Because I, I really ought to be getting back to stage. Oh. oh. Right. Thank you, Miss Palmer. It's getting cold. I oh, know. Let's light the fire. Shall I get two sticks to rub together? No. I've got these. Mm. It's quite an art to this, you know. That's odd. These matches are wet. How did that happen? This is a dress! It's what they wore in those days. It's what girls wore in those days. <laughs> These are tights. They're leggings. James and Alice. R Romeo! Romeo, wherefore art thou Juliet? Uh, Henry! Psst! James and Alice have gone missing. The police are looking for them, but the no one must know. All oh, right. It's very wet. It hasn't been raining. No. Oi! You've got loads more than me. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. <sighs> Look at the time. It's getting late. It's not my fault. Well, it was your idea to bring us here in the first place. It was yours. No, it wasn't. Stop lying. I'm not. The matches haven't got wet. We might be able to light the fire. Going click, clippity, cluck of the snare. Exactly where James is, exactly. Uh, there! Oh, shut up. No, you shut up. Mum. Dad. You said they were dead. Cut again. Come on, Henry, get with it. Oh, well done, Ruby. Uh, Friar Tuck and Robin Hood. Oh, yeah. Father dead, is he? Please, Alice. Let me explain. <laughs> Give me that. Oh. Come on, you need help! Oh, no, you don't! <laughs> Get off! Cue music! <laughs>
had 20 tickets at £4 each, so that's £80 back. Do come to next month's show, won't you? Matron, you had 16 tickets at £3.75, so that's £60 back. Good night. Still, you made a bit on the tea and sandwiches. Oh, that must be our wages. Cheers. Thanks. No, no. The money go, go the weasel. <laughs>